Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Aussie Flipper. My name's Matt Diedrich and I am an online reseller. What that means is I'll buy a product for the sole purpose of flipping it online for a profit. Now, it's awesome to have you along for the ride today, guys, because it is a big, big episode. I'm going to do my 10 sold items of the week, but also I want to go through a September review, show you how I went for the month of September, show you all my numbers. I've got them all ready to go, so I'm pumped to get that across to you. If you're here for the very first time, I do these videos every single Sunday. The whole purpose is to try and help you out there as a reseller find the same item, make the same profit. So if you're into reselling by any means, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, give the video a like. We've got 10 awesome items and a big September review, so let's get stuck into it. I'm gonna kick things off today, guys, with this Wheat Bix tin I found at an op shop for just $2. Now, this had some really old school branding. It ended up being a 70th anniversary tin, and I only paid the two bucks. So it sold on eBay per the comps for about $25 plus postage. So in the end, 42 days it took to sell, but to make a $23 profit on the tin, I do pay a bit of attention when I go in. I just have a bit of a browse through the bric-a-brac. And if I do see some really old school tins, I'll always go and pick them up because you're always gonna get them around the one to $2 mark. So you never know, always do your comps on those. I found this really cool one, first one I've bought, first one I've sold, but I'm gonna to start to pay a bit more attention now that it has moved. So awesome result there, the Wheat Bix tin, one to pay attention to in the bric-a-brac guys, awesome result. The second item that I've got for you is a really cool bedside table that I found on Facebook Marketplace. So I picked this up for just $50, and as always, I bought it within the first hour that it was listed. It's really the only way that you're gonna get these good profits. You've got to source the item within the first hour of its listing, and you've pretty much gotta go straight away and pick it up. So that's exactly what I did. Now, when I got there, I knew that I'd found an absolute gem because this was perfect condition. It was solid hardwood, perfect running drawers. It was really nothing wrong to this one. Didn't have to do a lot of cleaning to it either. A bit of uh, soap and a bit of uh, gumption. Links below in the description for what I used to clean my products. But this came up a treat with a bit of polish on top as well. And I sold it for $225 on the same day that I bought it, guys. So the bedside tables do move pretty quickly. And uh, I knew that I'd stumble across a good one when I found this one. So bought it for 50, sold it for 225, made $175 same day profit. Really, if you're getting into furniture, guys, I would really encourage you to have a look at the bedside tables more so than anything. It's easy to get in the car if you've got a smaller car, and they can turn around some really big profits in a really quick space of time. So keep an eye out for the good pieces. Don't buy the ones that you need to do any work to, and then go ahead and flip it on Facebook Marketplace for a few dollars. And just to prove the point on the bedside tables, guys, I've sold another one. I've picked this one up off Marketplace for $60. Now, I think this guy that was selling it was a reseller himself, but he's clearly marked this one too low. I've gone ahead and relisted it after a bit of a clean for $180. Now, it did sell within the space of three days, and I did drop the price after two days to $160. And the guy that's bought it said, can you deliver for 20 bucks? So in the end, I've got my $180 for this one, and I've made $120 profit in the space of just three days, and I hadn't nearly done a lot of work to it either. So the one that was, I guess, unique about this one was the fact that it was quite small. It was almost like a miniature set of bedside tables compared to what I normally buy or your typical style and standard. Um, but they were still a really quality make and they were gonna fit a smaller bedroom perfectly. So just because it's a little bit smaller, or a, little, a little bit larger, don't think that that's anything against the item because it's gonna be a perfect fit for somebody. So I still bought this knowing that it was gonna sell well. Sure enough, the smaller bedroom, it fit perfectly. Uh, $120 within the space of three days on this one with limited work, just picking it up, giving it a clean, and then whacking it back up on Marketplace, guys. It really does work. So I do encourage you, get the bedside tables and make a few bucks. An awesome brand to find in the op shops this next one, guys. It was the RM Williams Shorts I found in a Day in the Life episode not too long ago. Now, this one sold on Facebook Marketplace for just $25. Uh, they paid $10 postage. Now, I'm set up on the Australia Post My Business Plan on a band three level. So I've saved a little bit of money on the postage charge here and I've profited an extra $2.30 on the sale price. So. The $25 sale price has actually turned into a $27.30 sale price once I'd posted it, which was an awesome result at seven bucks. So I've ended up making a $20 note profit on this one uh, and Facebook Marketplace, so no fees. I do understand that when I post the eBay items that there are some fees to be incurred after the fact, um, but this one's obviously on Facebook Marketplace, so no fees whatsoever. Happy to get the result. RM Williams is the, one of the best brands to find. They will always sell well. So if you're in the op shops and you're seeing the brand in any sort of make, shirts, shorts, whatever, obviously shoes, um, grab it because it's gonna sell well. The RM Williams, the shorts, 20 bucks, awesome result. Another very cool brand to find in the op shop, guys, were these shoes, the Supra Musker 001s, the black high tops. These were in basically brand new condition 
and the comps are worth about fifty to sixty dollars on eBay. So I've seen this. I've listening in the uh, in the op shop. I picked this one up straight away the minute I walked in, and by the time I've listed it five days later, it had sold for fifty dollars plus postage. So bought this one for twelve. I've made a thirty eight dollar profit on this one. It sold within the space of five days. So a really quick, fast moving brand to look out for if you do see the the brand in the shoes or even the clothing as well for Supra. First pair of shoes in Supra that I've bought, but I'm going to continue to look for this brand because it did just move so quick at a pretty good price. To make $38 on a pair of shoes, for me, is an awesome result. So uh, this one sold on eBay, so there will be some fees taken out of that. Um, you might lose about $5. I could work out to about a $32, $33 profit in the end. But uh, awesome to get that result really, really quickly too. Uh, shoes have been a really good one for me this week. And these were probably my best ones. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video of a Funko Pop unboxing where I got 12 random Funko Pops off a bloke off Facebook Marketplace for just $50. Here's the link here for you to check out after this episode. But uh, it worked out to a cost of $4 per pop and I unboxed it, showed you what I got. This was one of them. It was a South Park character, Cartman, dressed up as a raccoon. So the South Park coon, it worked out to a $35 uh, resale price on eBay. So I knew that I'd got a good one here. And then within the space of uh, eight days, this one sold as well for the $35. So I've made a $31 profit, take off some fees, about a $26, $27 profit on this one. Now I've been selling a few and I've got a few more to go. So overall, this is gonna work out to a really good purchase for $50. The Funko Pops, I just really encourage you to do some digging and do some research and try and find them off Facebook Marketplace around the $10 mark. And each one could be potentially worth hundreds, but uh, you, know, you could find a $30, $40, $50 one like this one and make a few dollars on it. So it's a fun one to get into. I love doing the Pops and I love them that they continually sell on eBay. So awesome to get the result there with South Park. Now, I've always said to grow as a reseller, you've really got to expand your level of reach. You've got to pick different niche categories that you haven't played in otherwise, do some research on the brands that sell well in that space, and it's only going to help you out long term. For me, it's in women's clothing and women's shoes. I don't know enough about it, but I really want to get into it. I'm starting out with women's active wear, and Running Bear is a brand that I've only just realized sells very well on eBay. If you do find this brand in the op shop, guys, do pick it up because it does sell well. Now, I bought these for just $6, and they have sold for $30 on eBay. So I've made a $24 profit in the space of just seven days. So they are a fast moving item and uh, obviously take some fees. It's going to be a little over 20 bucks, but this was just a really cool one to find because it wasn't one that I typically go in and look for, but because I've done my research and I've looked into different areas that I don't know too much about, I've been able to pick up $20 on a brand new item. So this is obviously only going to help me out long term in this category. I think I'm going to start to look for a few more brands as well. And hopefully I can develop myself in women's clothing and women's shoes to really expand my level of knowledge. So um, awesome brand to look out for guys, Running Bear, Women's Tights, The Plain Blacks, 30 bucks on eBay, awesome result. Bit of nostalgia from my childhood guys, I picked up this Game Boy Plus Pokemon Silver game for $40 off a bloke off Facebook Marketplace. Now, the comps were telling me it was worth around $100 as a bundled pack. Um, so I did sell both Game Boy and game together and I got the $100 on eBay. So $100 sales, $60 profit, minus some fees, maybe a $50 profit there for me. But I'm gonna play in this space a little bit more, guys. I'm gonna go into the Nintendos, the Xboxes, the Playstations, learn my pricing, uh, even look at the games as well. I think if you buy a bundled pack, it's gonna be a good idea because you could even just then sell individually on eBay as well with those items. But um, awesome result here to make a quick $50, sold within the space of 10 days. Um, the Game Boy and the Pokemon Silver game. Really cool find in the op shop, guys. I bought a box of Matchbox toys for $25. I got about 50 toys and I sort of dug through them when I got home because I know some of them can be a real collector item. And I found about five that can be worth around the $20 mark. This was one of them. It was a 1978 Buck Rogers Corgi Starfighter. Um, so a really specific model that people do actually out there look for. And the cops were telling me about $20. So I've listed this up for $20 free postage. You take the postage of about $220 out. I've made a $17.80 sale price here. I'll pay 50 cents at the end of the day for this specific item. Um, so the sales cycle, it did take 25 days, but I knew that they were selling at this price. So it was just a matter of time. Um, I've got about four others sitting there as well around that $20 mark. So my initial $25 investment, if those four sell for 20 bucks, I've had a great return here. So definitely one to pay a bit of attention to, the Matchbox Kids Toys. They are a collector item for some out there. Um, do keep an eye out for them. You never know what you can find, but really cool one there to make 20 bucks off a really small toy that was a very, very old school collector's item. 
This next item was a cool one, guys. It was the Beach Cruiser. Now, I found this one on a random Wednesday. People were bringing their stuff out onto the front of the driveway. They were doing like a garage sale midweek and um, trying to clear some stuff off the side of the road. I went into the house and I said, hey, look, what else have you got to sell? And uh, they did show me the bikes in the garage. And I think the bikes are a great category to get into, especially over the summertime here in Australia. People are not in the gyms using their gym memberships with the virus and they're looking for other means of exercise. And I think the bikes are going to be a really good seller. Now, I bought this for $20. I took the rust off it when I got home, gave it a bit of a clean, and it sold within the space of 30 minutes of me relisting it for $120. I might have gone too low on this one, guys, but I've still made $120 profit, which I'm really happy about. Um, same day sale, got five messages within the space of 30 minutes. So I do encourage everyone out there to look for the bikes because they are a very good high selling resale category. So hopefully you enjoyed those 10 items, guys. There are some new ones in there that I haven't typically sold in the past. So to get some results early on in some brand new categories, I'm really excited by that. Um, what I like to do in this episode as well, before we get into the September review, I'll show you what I did as a collective total for this week. So if we pull up the uh, map for you to have a look at here, I've sold 31 items this week, which is now a bit of an average for me. I typically do around the 30. My cost of goods was $499.50. Now, my total sales was an absolute record by about $450. I've sold $1,730 worth of items this week, and it's given me a profit of $1,231.55. So my profit margins worked out to about the 71%, which is pretty much standard for me. But look, previous record, I think was around $1,200 to $1,300 in sales. So I've just blown it through the roof. I'm really, really happy with the way things have gone for me this week, and the profit of obviously $1,200 is an absolute record as well. So look, I think at the end of the day, it's just volume, volume of listing more, buying more items, just increasing the volume has increased the sales uh, naturally. I think that's just the way it works. You've always got to buy your quality items, but I truly think from upping my numbers and, and how much inventory I'm purchasing and then how much work I'm putting into my listings is just obviously getting me my return. So anyone can do this, $1,700 in just one week and $1,200 profit. I'm really starting to think that this can be a proper full-time gig for me, and uh, I'm really just wrapped to get those numbers on the board. So um, let's jump into the September review here for you as well, and I'm going to kick things off with my gross revenue. So I'm going to go through a few different stages with this. I've got a few different PowerPoint slides. I'm going to go through gross revenue. I'm going to go through some fees. I'm going to go through uh, my paycheck um, when you take out tax and the rest of it. I'm also gonna go through some inventory that I bought as well, because obviously one is selling the items, but I also wanna show you what I'm actually putting back into the business as well, because I think that's incredibly important to look at. Um, and then I'm also gonna show you my split of sales platforms. So where am I selling? Is it Facebook, is it eBay? They're pretty much the two that I play in, and, and what are the, I guess, the percentage split of those two platforms? Um, so let's look at the gross revenue. Pull the map up here. Gross revenue, I've got 123 items sold for the month of September. My total revenue worked out. Now, the total revenue here, I should say, includes the postage charges. So I'm looking at it from an accounting sense in the sense of what money has come into the business for me. And it's been $6,072.03 for the month of September. It works out as an average sale price. Remember, postage is included in this cost. Uh, sale price of $49.36. So my cost of goods for the month to get that result of $6,000, the items that sold, it was $1,423.76 was the total cost of goods for those 123 items. So collectively, my profit margin worked out to be 74%. So awesome to turn $1,400 into $6,000. Obviously, there's a few fees to obviously take out. And if we have a look at that, my total fees, eBay was $249.50. PayPal charges worked out to $74.85. My postage cost worked out to $536.42. So my total fees that I've got to deduct is $860.77. Now, if you want to look at that from a personal sense of, all right, well, how much money did you make in the month of September? We would need to then look at the uh, the difference. So I would take the revenue of six thousand and seventy two dollars. I would minus the cost of goods one thousand four hundred and twenty three. That gives me a profit of three thousand seven hundred and eighty seven. After I'm also taking out the fees of eight hundred and sixty. So revenue minus cost of goods minus total of fees works out to the three thousand seven hundred and eighty seven. That's my profit at the end of the month. Now obviously that's just gross revenue. So you've got to take your tax out of that as well. 
Um, so the tax equation worked out to a $598 deduction that I put in a separate tax savings account come tax time. So my take home paycheck was $3,189. And I think in Australian dollars, that works out to about an average salary. If you did that every month for a year, it works out to about $45,000. So not quite the full-time sort of paycheck that I'm wanting to have. I want that to be an average of about 50,000. But to be really having a proper crack at it for the month of September for the very first time, to get to a level of 45,000 Australian as a sort of a, an average annual salary, I really do think that I can grow this to be something that's worth over 50 to 60,000 take home for me. Um, so happy to get a take home there of almost $3,200 in my hand after tax, after fees, after everything. Um, if we have a look at then on the flip side of, okay, you've made this money, but now you've got to put it back into the business. How much inventory did you buy and what was the average cost of good on all of that? So I've bought for the month of September 235 items and my gross purchase amount, I've spent almost $2,200 reinvested back into the business. Now, my average sale price, and do remember that I'm buying a lot of furniture and clothing and shoes, that's predominantly what I purchase. My average sale price is $9.32. And I'm buying items of furniture in that. So I'm really happy to get an average sale price being so low. Um, and I think it's a really important thing to look at because as much as you're making money on one hand, you're trying to reinvest it back into the business. So you need to be strategic about how much you're buying. And like I said, with the numbers that I got this week of $1,700 in sales, I really do think that's because of the inventory that I've bought, 235 items. It's more than I've ever bought before in any month. And I really want to, in the month of October coming up, I want to buy 300 items and I want to keep my average cost of goods uh, under the $10 mark because I think I'm just going to continually grow the more I buy. So I want to look into wholesale. I want to look into a lot of different avenues that I can source more items and hopefully make more sales results and more profit. So I thought I'd show you the inventory as well because it is the other side of the coin with this business. Um, and then finally, I just want to show you sort of the average split. So sales platform, what have I, where have I sold my items? And I think it's a really key thing to look at from the overall results point of view because my sales platform was 78 items were off Facebook Marketplace. Now, you've really got to understand with Facebook, there are zero fees. So anything that I sell, I'm not having to take any money out. And as a result of the fact that 78 items were sold on, on Facebook, it meant that only 45 items ended up selling on eBay. So that's why my, my eBay fees were only $250 and about $75 for PayPal. So I haven't had to take too many fees out of my sales results because I've sold on Facebook Marketplace. So for me, while I know that I need to sell on multiple platforms that I need to cross list, I'm really conscious of trying to get as many sales as I can and pay more attention to anyone that's talking to me on Facebook because there are just no fees associated and it's gonna be a better return on investment at the end because there's no not as much fees coming out. So I thought that was gonna be a really unique one for you guys to look at because when I do these what sold videos, I'm sure there's a few of you out there going, yeah, but you've gotta take the fees off that. Well, this shows that about 70% of the items that I sell are more done on Facebook Marketplace than they are done on eBay. So there's actually not as much in the way of fees that are coming out. So I really do think that's a long way to success for me is to continue to try and sell on Facebook, but always have the items relisted as well on eBay as a backup. But try and get the deal done on Facebook is the way that I'm gonna go about it. So look, a lot of detail there, a lot of numbers, but I thought that I'm gonna, let me know in, in the comments if you, if you like looking at all those figures and, and seeing the results that I'm, I'm doing. And I've tried to make them as accurate and accu you know, as, as accurate and detailed as I possibly can for you. Um, to give you the full picture, including tax, to give you my take-home pay check for the month. So um, yeah, hopefully you got a bit of enjoyment out of that. Please let me know in the comments below if you want that to be a monthly thing that I do for you, uh, where I show you the results, not only on a weekly, but also on a collective monthly basis as well. But um, yeah, awesome to get the results through to you. I'm, I'm pumped to get the results. I'm happy with those results. And I'm hoping that in October, there's a few more results there for you with a, an even bigger amount of profit and total sales. So um, thanks very much for watching this episode, guys. I uh, hope you got a kick out of it. Remember to give the video a like and to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks for sticking around because I know it's been a long episode today, but uh, I look forward to catching you in the next one, guys. Thanks a lot.